such an elegant way to travel. Hmm, a vehicle. Automobile, Mr. Marston. Automobile. But so convenient and reliable. Are you comfortable? No. You see this, Mr. Fordham? The brooding cow. He doesn't like the future. Not many of these left, you know. A bit of a cliche, admittedly. But still a dying breed. Like the buffalo. Just as dumb, but not quite as noble. They move most cows by rail these days, I hear. Not where I'm from, they don't. Mm. But you aren't from anywhere. A new dawn is breaking, Mr. Marston. This is the age of the machine. And soon, we'll all be living on the moon. <laughs> this is the future. Anything is possible. You never know. Finally, God forsaken land is entering the 20th century. Prosperity has arrived. In the Love a little bit of prosperity. It's not far now. No yeah, I think I saw the wreck. Yeah, it's down there. We were informed that Vanderlyn and his gang are making camp there. We'll stop on the cliff above, and you and Agent Fordham will go on foot. I'll stay with the vehicle and keep watch. Mm. And you'll do as I say, Marston. Don't try anything stupid. Oh, I think he knows what's at stake. Don't you, Mr. Marston? Let's find Dutch and finish this. Too right. The wreck of the serendipity. Right. Let's go, Mr. Marston. Are we just rolling two man? And yeah, we got balls, mate. We got balls. Keep quiet and stay close. Yes, sir. Vanderlind is the priority. We go in, take him down, get the hell out of here. Quick and clean. You leave Dutch to me. We don't want you getting that suit dirty. If you step out hmm. of line, even once, well, I hope you're aware of the consequences. I hope you're aware. My foot going in your ass. Man, there's not a single soul in the sight. This is a trap. Surely. Seems real quiet, don't you think? You tell me. Maybe Dutch caught wind of things. That informant better not have been lying to us. Keep your eyes open. They are open. I don't see nothing. Hunting rifle. Feel right. This place is usually teeming with low life. Huh. <laughs> then I'd say it's a trap. Come on, big boy. If I can tell, surely you can tell. Oh. You hear that? Go see what's happening up there. I'll wait here. How'd you even get up there? Go on, those screams are coming from somewhere. I know. I don't know how to get up there. Okay, so where's ah? Oh. Stairs around the other side. All right, big man. More stairs somewhere? It's eerie. Stairs must be at the front. Wonder if there's gonna be anyone we know. Nope, can't go that way. All right, stop screaming, mate. I'm coming. Need to find some stairs. The hell? Oh. Hello, good fellow. God, that's our informant. Gnostics, what the hell's going on here? It's a trap. Huh. Shit, Marston, you'll have to carry this man. I don't think he can walk. Oh, my good God. Devil! Oh. Come on, we need to get him to safety. Oh. There's one of them. 
The Indians? Hold on, Nastus. Oh, I can't hit this all off double barrel. Steady. I'll push forward, I'm right behind you. No, of course you're not. Folly, okay, go on in. See anyone? Can I put him down at all? Oh, what a headshot! Push forward, you fool! Hey, you go first. You die, please. I don't... I've got a mean shot. Double tap. This way. Get the catman out. I feel like I have a little bit more. These are actual Indians. Red Indians, Native Indians, Native Americans. Have it. Come on. Give it up. Oh, there's some tinta there. Interesting. So where is Dutch? Who's this? What in God's name is going on? Well, clearly it was a trap. Marston, lift this fellow into the back seat. Put him in the car so we can get out of here. Let's go. There might be more of them. Watch the horses be faster. Christ alive! What the hell happened down there? It was a trap. They were waiting for us. And who is this savage? A prisoner? <laughs> this is the informant, sir. Do you speak English? Uh, uh, yes, he does, sir. He's the informant. Nostas. Don't get snarky with me, Fordham. <laughs> we found him tied up on the boat. Then they jumped us. Nice of you to help us out. Hell of a plan sending in two men to take on an entire gang of outlaws. Yeah, a specific There's kind of gang of outlaws as well. Or social secretary or something. Just stuff. shut your mouth. <laughs> shut your mouth. Question is, are they going to come after us or not? And if they do, I shoot from the car. <laughs> uh oh, out of fuel. Not now. What's wrong? I don't know. The motor just gave out. Well, fix it, you fool. We need to get this man to a doctor. Of course, sir. Oh, there we go. Dutch's men. Marston, we'll hold them off. Fordham, we'll fix that damn engine. <laughs> this way. Where are they? Huh? Jeez, there's a lot of them. Reload. 
Gee willikers, there's a lot of them. We clear? Whew. I can't see any more of them. Fordham, are we ready? Yes, sir, I think so. Come on, let's get back to Blackwater. Damn, that was close. We're lucky to be alive. I'm beginning to see why Mr. Marston here has made it to such a ripe old age. Hmm. You'll make me blush with all these guys. Is that Cougar? So much for this automobile of yours. If this is the future, God help us all. It's not the automobile. Bad workmen shouldn't blame his tools. Perhaps True. if Mr. Fordham maneuvered it with a little more finesse. Oh, this Agent Ross is so annoying. <laughs> Even if it was running fine, they'd still have caught us. I can walk faster than this piece of crap. Give me a horse any day. So what now? Do I get to see my family? Where is Dutch Vanderlyn? I don't know. In that case, old boy, no, you don't get to see your family. Oh, for goodness it's a sake. fairly simple agreement, Mr. Marston. Even for a man as devoid of intellect as yourself. Oh, he's so rude. Would you like me to explain it to you again? I'd be more than willing. No, you've said enough. We'll find Vanderlyn soon enough. For now, however, I suggest we call it a day. So how does it feel, taking a man's wife and child from him? Does it make you feel good? How does it feel to kill hundreds of men in cold blood? Oh, I was just going around in circles. You're, You're a murderer. Actions have consequences, Mr. Marston. Come now. Try to look on the bright side. The I love the way there's a poor side of town. No like, all these shacks side. over here, there's Your rubbish. is enjoying a much-needed vacation. And in far more luxurious surroundings than those to which they are accustomed. Soon you will be able to start a new life together absolved of all your sins. We should take the ending to Professor McDougal. See what he can get out of them. Good idea, sir. I just can't communicate with them. Here we are. Thank God for that. So, this is the office of an anthropologist named McDougal. He was thrown out of Yale for a degeneracy. Oh, charming. Tell you something. Indeed. But he's been helping us deal with the natives in this area. They see him and they presume we're all idiot academics. Huh? Give me a hand here, Marston. Ah, Mr. Ross. Uh, Mr. Fordham? Good day. Good day. Have we met him already? What's going on here? Kid got shot in the leg. <sighs> Beat up pretty good. We'll send a doctor. Now, McDougal. Mm -hmm. <sighs> we need information from this fellow about Dutch Vanderland. Can you see what you can find out for us? Do my best, sir. Hmm. Sure he looks familiar. I don't know if we've run into him before. Google has been a good friend of the U.S. government, Mr. Marston, just like you. Why don't you see if you can help him in his study of the native problem in this county? That's a good thought. God damn. I mean, in fairness, we do look like we need a shower. What have we got? We got a G. Nice oh, Agent Ross. Google. Oh yeah, we need to hand those in. Still couldn't figure out where that was. Lights camera action. Maybe we'll have a look at some of these smaller stranger tasks. Right, let's hand in this American lobbyist thing. God damn. Come back between seven and six. Ah. Later than that, isn't it? Whoopsie daisy. Bet you all the stalls are closed in, aren't they? Hey, killer, come on. What are you waiting on? 
What do you mean? Oh, did you, did you want a duel, good sir? I feel like putting an end I to someone your today. Part. How's about you and me engage in a fair and impartial act of dueling? Which side you should keep your opinions to yourself, pal. Come on in, big boy. Up, okay, I need a duel in Blackwater, probably. Floyd Bruegels, Bruegels, Brooklyn's. Ready to die. Get ready on the draw. And. Oh, he got me! Son's a bitch. How did he manage that? How did he do that? Right, should just see if we've got any new outfits. Do apologize. God damn it. How frustrating. Thought I had him. Literally thought I had him. We've got anything new. Gentleman's attire. Sure the gin. Wearing this high class style allows you the high stakes poker game in Blackwater. That's what I want. The deadly assassin. That looks just like what I want. But we need to win a duel in Armadillo still. Right, let's get till daytime. Oh, for goodness sake. What's the time? Is that one in the morning? God damn. Right, come on in, McDougal. Oh, I just hear automobiles are the devil's work. Can't even go to McDougal. Oh, for goodness sake, game. Why are you doing this to me? Oh, carry on playing good, sir. So sorry, sir. It's quite a nice room. Don't cross John Marston. They say he's killed babies. What? Absolute slander. I will not have such defamation spread about me. I've killed Mexicans, I've killed Americans. Killed many a folk. Never babies. It'd be wise to remember that. There we go. A true pleasure. They're all very fancy around here, aren't they? Let's see if I can avenge myself. I believe I just got shot like that. Cruel bastard. Oh, I have that bit in there. I'm coming, hold on. Hey there, fella. What do you think of our governor, Nate Johns? Nate Johns? Why, that no good lying back stabbing bastard, I'd like to see him horse whipped. <laughs> Why you ask, friend? Need to make sure I had the right man. Would you care to take a quick look at a couple photographs of you coming out of a fine place of not much repute? Oh. Uh. Ah. <laughs> uh, as I was saying uh, before I was so rudely interrupted. Nate Johns is a fine, fine man and an even hmm. better governor. Political I bribery. It's an honor to call him my friend. <laughs> Wise man. Oh, can you not look at the pictures? Black Murphy. <laughs> Oh, they look really bad. <laughs> I do apologise. Ah, oh, okay. 
stuff in tune, Sincere. <laughs> of that last one, he's enjoying himself. Right, let's hand that back into him, see if we can buy a Lamat, and then we'll go to McDougal. McDougal, what name? Thank you. $24, is that what you're giving me? That is outrageous. Wait, what can we do for the hairdressers? Surely we can't... We don't get a haircut, can we? What can you get in here? Oh, military scrap. I know I could do that. I'll sell that. And buffalo skin. Interesting. Why? Hello, Mr. Marston? Hey, good to see you. What? Evening, officer. Morning, even. Hey, mister. Take a look at what we got. You won't be disappointed. Still want to keep those gold. <laughs> who knows what we'll get with it. Everyone knows who I am. I don't like it. It's because I'm so famous. All the train has arrived. Right, where are you, McDougal? I'm coming. Home with Dutch. Oh, incredible. Simply incredible. Hello, Professor. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, sir. Good day, good day. How are you? Well, my family's health and well-being are being threatened by some unscrupulous government agents, and my own hard-won freedom is under duress. But these problems aside, I suppose I'm fair. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the problems of civilizing nomads. Uh, tell me, sir, are you from Norse stock? Not as far as I know. Pardon? I was raised in an orphanage. My father was Scottish. Hmm, unfortunate. Uh, uh, you'd make an interesting case for my theory of natural population characteristics. Really? Well, yes. A, a white man, obviously, but 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 with a savage spirit. Uh, uh, trust me, sir, I mean savage in the best possible sense. Uh, natural nobility, but also simple. Uh, pure. Uh, I've been looking at some blood samples through my microscope, and, and you know what? No. Oh, well, of course you don't. <laughs> it's a remarkable breakthrough. I've been looking at the blood of both natives and white men of corresponding height, weight, and age, and you know what? There's no difference. Again, no. They're exactly the same. It's remarkable. It completely refutes my last book. But I'll tell you what, sir. This sabbatical in the field may have been somewhat forced upon me by circumstance, but my scholarship has benefited enormously. <laughs> Would you uh, like to partake of a syringe of cocaine? I've quite enough for two. Wait, what? It's not right this minute, no. Oh, it's a remarkable drug. It entirely restores the ego. Uh, it takes one back to a primal state. Uh, it helps my thinking enormously. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, Nastas, uh, uh, come on. Uh, come in, sir. I think he can understand Would you. Would you like to take off your slippers? Or, or, or skin a rabbit? <clears throat> I know. We cannot see the stars, but still, <laughs> for goodness my heart sake, is pure, and we meet as equals. These savages must be spoken to simply in metaphors. <laughs> no, sir. I grew up on a reservation and attended school. Good man. There we go. Lovely. <laughs> but I can show you what you want to see. I know where the group of bandits you seek are hiding. Both of you. Vanderlyn has attracted a following of young men on the reservation. 
There we go. They are turning to bad things. The savage heart cannot be conventionally civilized. I was right all along. <laughs> Where's Dutch Vanderlyn based? In the hills. In Cochine. Let's go. I'm following you. There that is not guarded. Uh, marvelous. <laughs> it's simply marvelous. Are you bringing a weapon, Doc, or... Uh... <laughs> Time to do our bit for humanity, Mr. Marston. Follow me. My horse, he knows best. Cover to cock. So, I understand we have a mutual interest in Mr. Vanderlyn. You gotta kill him too. Kill him? Good God, no! What is it with you people out here? No, <laughs> Vanderlyn fascinates me. A white man living among natives. A civilized mind turned savage. Interesting. This reverse integration or regressive acculturation. Uh, I yeah. don't know. I, I haven't found a name I like yet. He was never that civilized. <laughs> ah, but of course. <laughs> Edgar Ross mentioned your unique history with the man. Although I was away with the fairies at the time, I must admit. Surfing great waves of euphoria. Gosh, you are an absolute well, nutcase, aren't you? And some kind of Robin Hood Oedipus communist <laughs> tale of naivete and betrayal, if I remember correctly. We ran in a gang together, Professor. I wouldn't try to read too much into it. God of passing through some geezers. Hunting buffalo. Or bison, sorry. Look, Mr. Marston, buffalo. Buffalo, oh, yeah, not bison. What, I what am I talking about? The white man will soon be the end of them. What on earth are you talking about, Nastas? Too much hunting, sir. Your whole society is based but on not, hunting. But not over hunting. Hunt to eat, not yeah, there you go. Sport. Soon there will be no buffalo left. Who teaches you this nonsense? Extinction is a myth refuted by Darwin. Species don't die, they evolve. Mm. <laughs> Hunting in time will make the buffalo stronger. Don't think so, Sonny. These trees are quite foreboding, the stars. Are, are, are you sure this is the right way? Or yes, trees? Sir. It's rather dark. Ain't you never seen trees before? <laughs> I thought you were a brave cultural explorer. It's this way, mister. Wonder how long until we see the bears. Oh, there's a ball there. I explored the mind, Mr. Marston. Enjoy it while you still can. Soon you will have cut down all of these trees. Yeah, is that bad boy? Or are you making a sweeping statement about the white man in general? There is no respect for the land anymore. Oh, it's getting cold. I'm sensing some hostility, Nastas. Oh, bear! There it is. Talk me through this primal emotion, where it's coming from. Jesus. Don't worry about it, Professor. Startled little thing. Are oh, we nearly there, Nastas? I see some mountains. And it's getting colder. There's Running. The cliffs. We'll leave the horses here. Climb the rest of the way. Understood. Whoa. That looks like a little base. A base of operations. Remarkable. I'm afraid I don't really have much of a head for heights. More of a, a head for highs. <laughs> well, well, anyway, I'm sure the starts will help you. I must be on my way. Mm, of course you will. Thanks for the help. Goodbye, gentlemen. Enjoy yourselves. Yes. Yeah, so I don't think we will be enjoying ourselves. 